in the graphics laboratory of the uh, USC Institute uh, for Creative Technologies. We want the things that you see in simulations and video games and movies, even if they're completely computer generated, to look absolutely realistic. We like to be able to digitize things from the real world to create virtual versions of them that we can then do anything we want with in these virtual worlds. We can bring real people and then have a digital version of them that we can make run through any environment possible and it'll look just like they were really there. We had actually applied our light stage facial scanning process in quite a number of movies from Spider-Man 2 in 2004 through Benjamin Button in 2008 and most recently the Avatar films. One project that we worked on in collaboration with a facial animation company named Image Metrics was called the Digital Emily Project. And we worked with uh, an actress and we created a digital version of her face that looks believably like it was just her. And that was the kind of result that you know, we'd never seen before. But we want to be able to truly immerse people into these experiences. We want the worlds to seem three-dimensional and all around you. We worked with Fake Space Labs to create a three-dimensional display that you can look at and you can see from any angle and you don't need glasses. Someone had the idea it would be cool if that was a real like holographic image of a person like somebody that he knew that he could do a three-dimensional teleconference with. So we asked if we could do that and we realized that you know all the pieces of the technology exist to do that at this point. We just need to bring them together. My goal in life is to grow my hair longer. <laughs> the end goal of most of these technologies that we're developing is to enable people to communicate their vision in their head to other people, to tell a story that they have. All the things they're thinking have to turn into pixels and polygons and you know, three-dimensional holographic images. If you can kind of come up with something that is a new tool that allows you to create a vision that wasn't possible before, someone's gonna do something amazing with it.